After hiking for two hours, we arrive at Ptarmigan Lake. We are climbing two peaks today with the odd names of Mount Anthozoan and Brachiopod. To get to those two peaks, we'll have to follow the shoreline for quite a ways. On the other side of the lake is Ptarmigan Peak, which is on our list to do. There's Mount Anthozoan, and at the far end of the ridge is Mount Brachiopod. We'll start at the coal in the middle, and then ascend Mount Anthozoan first. There's the coal, but first we have to hike up a meadow with lots of ups and downs. Anthozoan looks impossibly far away. Sometime later, we're almost at the coal. It's taking a lot longer than I expected. In fact, it took us four hours to hike the 14 kilometers to the coal. We passed the coal and we're finally on the lower slopes of Anthozoan. The loose rock here is proving to be arduous. We're forced to move slowly up the slope. But we make it to the ridge eventually and get to see what's on the other side. Up here the views are awesome and we can see peaks for miles away. We need only to follow this ridge to get to the summit. This sure is a long ridge, but finally the summit is in sight. As you can see, much of the ridge is an easy hike. We're arriving at the summit of Anthozoan. Our triumph is short-lived, however, as now we have to go on to climb Brachiopod. Heading back along the ridge, this is the crux. The rock here is smooth, and we have to take our time crossing it. Now it's Dinah's turn to come up the crux. We have a lot of ridge to cover. Brachiopod seen here is a long ways away. We've made our way back to the coal and are now climbing up Brachiopod. Here we have to put up with a steep slope on miserable scree. We've made it to just below the summit. It's steep but our boots easily grip the rock. Here we are on the summit. By the time we get back to the car, we'll have covered 32 kilometers in 11 and a half hours. Yet two days later, we'll do an even longer trip. 